what this is, there's tarpon around. Hopefully it's not a dumb shark or something. Running pretty good. Took all my mono. About 50 yards of mono there. Hold on, Alberto Knot. Tarpon, if you're a tarpon, jump. But I know you're a tarpon. believe what happened to me this morning so I went to the damn park where I catch my mullet you know at first light and the damn code that they gave me didn't work so I'm calling I'm waking up all these people after hours on the after hour phone line I woke up two people trying to get this damn code trying to get in there and nobody nobody could help me man it was just something wrong with the gate Kinda, I think it is a tarpon because I just saw their a fin over there, a tarpon fin. So I had to go elsewhere to look for mullet, and yeah, fucking thousands of mullet, but they're all finger mullets, and that's what I was running today is just finger mullet. So this is a tarpon. It's probably not a very big one because you know if you want a big fish, you got to run a big bait most of the time. You know, most of the time. I'm not gonna say that's the way it is all the time. Yeah, I think this is a tarpon, like a little tiny baby. I saw the fin again, tarpon fin. He's not swimming normal, so it has to be the one I'm actually hooked on to. So, maybe I'll be getting a tarpon the day after all. Oh, it'll be a little baby because I'm running little baby baits. Little juvie tarpon. But, uh, yeah, those automatic gates, man, they don't work. Okay, I know this through experience. They just do not work. If they're not failing, the people will fuck them up. In fact, the people is the number one culprit <laughs> to fucking up automatic gates. That's real shit. <laughs> so I had the downsize on everything. I went back to my 7.0... Uh, circle uh, hooks, uh, wire thin, this wire thin, and um, so that you know I can present these little tiny bullets, you know, in a good natural way. You know, he's getting some energy. I'm starting to sense him, sense him kind of. Wanting to run there. I don't, know. I don't know what's going on with him. Usually a tarpon have a little bit more fight. Of course, this is some pretty heavy ass tackle. <laughs> He's not a big one. If I hooked on the one, there was one big one around. I was trying to get a hold of him. Most of these guys were kind of small. Egg shake there. A little head shake. I still haven't got a like a perfect visual. I just saw that tarpon fin come out of the water where the line was. So I was just kind of thinking that maybe it is a tarpon. He is a smaller fish. It ain't like the last one. Well the last one I was fighting for 30 minutes and he was nowhere near the boat. That damn thing was running to fucking Texas. <laughs> it was running to Mexico, man. <laughs> Oh, it's a tarp. Oh, he is a nice one, too. Like, I didn't think he was that fucking big. He came up for air just there. I'm so glad I kept the camera off. on. I was about to turn the damn thing off. He's a decent sized one. I don't understand why he's, like, not running. He's got to still be green. <laughs> this is an experienced tarp. And he's like, yeah, I know the deal. <laughs> I've been hooked five times already. <laughs> just get the damn thing out already. 
That's what he's thinking. Just get it out of my mouth so I can go along my way. <laughs> no, this is this is a decent size. You know, he's probably like a 50 pounder. Or he's gonna get all kinds of energy back. Watch him get all that energy back. I don't know if that's true with fish. I know that's true with birds like the pelicans in Key West. They get hooked all the time on people's baits and you reel them in. <laughs> Dude, they'll hop on your damn hand because they know you're gonna get that hook out. <laughs> I doubt fish are that smart. I mean, they go to school, but they're not that smart, man. Yeah, he just, I'm gonna release to drag a little bit. Yeah, I don't wanna lose this guy. I want to wear him out. He is pulling kind of hard. I'm expecting him to go nuts any minute now. He was a good size one. But I think he's been hooked before, so he kind of knows the deal. He's like, oh my God, not again. These damn fishermen are smart, man. They get my favorite bait. <laughs> they put it on a hook. <laughs> this is the guy that I was targeting. I could tell by his tail. It's the same size as the tail. I just can't believe he's like this close to the boat and he's not running or nothing. Dude, he's just biding his time. He's like, yeah, just get me to that boat. Get me to that boat, man. So this is a good 50 pound fish, man. He's like, just give me that boat because I know that's where you're going to fuck up, man. See him come up for air? He's got more energy. Every time they come up for air, he's got energy. See? This is, this is you know, a decent fish, man. You know, he's not a monster. Good 50 pounds. And he swung off. This guy knows the deal, dude. He so knows the deal. He knows the deal. And this is the one I was targeting. Like, there was a bunch of juvies everywhere. This is the one I was targeting. I got the one I was targeting. Goes with like fucking six or seven tarpons around. Nice. Let's see if I can get him to the boat. Okay, I'm going to tune out for now because I don't want to waste the battery. Oh, he just made a jump. This is like 10, 15 minutes in. So he just jumped. He came up for air and then he jumped. So I'm sorry y'all missed that footage. Sorry y'all missed that footage. That jump should really wear him out. Um, I forget the, um, the model number for these hooks, but these are the ones I've been using. Okay, these are the best hooks on the market, okay? They're called the, um, the Mustad uh, demon inline circle hooks. The only thing I did to get this tarpon, and this is the first strike of the day, was I offset them using a set of pliers. That's all I did. And I, I'm pretty sure I got a damn good hook set on this guy. I, I'm really wanting to know where that hook is in his mouth. Seven aught, okay. I came out here with using the same exact hooks, wire extra fine they're called extra fine wire um seven strikes and none of them stuck none of them so oh man he just did a nice jerk and um you know i use these hooks for everything else the uh the sharks the big black drums the uh, sheep's head um what the hell else? Uh, the redfish, I mean, every other pelagic fish, you know, big fish out there, I've used these seven ounce circle hooks without offsetting or modifying them or anything. Um, even last year with that 200 pound hammerhead shark, it was like a seven foot shark. I got a 12 foot kayak here and the damn thing was almost the size of my kayak. It was like more than half the size. So, and I caught that on these you know fine wire hooks so these hooks are good the hammerhead straighten it out a little bit 
and that's just so I can bring it up to the boat, you know, to get it on camera and show you guys. But you know, throughout the fight, it's not gonna hammer. He turned around or something. That I couldn't engage the drag. It was just fucking crazy, and he just took like more than fit. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, you all saw that jump, right? Let's see if he's still on there. Is he still on there? Yeah. Yeah, he's still on there. We got a lot of line back too. Oh, now he's gonna start fighting. Fucking 20 minutes later. <coughs> Here goes 50 yards of mono. Right in the water right now. There we go. Yeah. I fought a tarpon like this one time, man. Where he was just on cruise control for like <laughs> 20 minutes and all of a sudden he just gets all this fucking energy. And this is the craziest fucking thing. I mean, you, you, you never know what the hell you're going to come across. Where do they get the energy? Yeah, this tarpon is being very conservative, man. I mean, from the get-go, he hasn't really gone in any long runs. I mean, it's only been three runs already. <laughs> he just went on another long-ass run. So he's really conserving his energy. <laughs> he's a smart one. Because he's been hooked before, so he kind of knows the deal. Pretty sure that's what's going on. I just hope this hook stays in them, man. I gotta get me a damn tarpon. But he took a lot of line. But I'm coming right to him now. Get some line back after that last run. This has been such a crazy morning. Not only could I not get into that park, now I paid $67 to get in that damn park. Fucking waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning to get in there. So it's a night pass that I paid for. Because it, it opens up to 8. Couldn't get in there. So I'm just jumping around from bait spot, bait spot, bait spot. Because, you know, fishermen, they got to have plan A, plan B, and plan Z. <laughs> Especially when it comes to bait. So I'm just going to all these bait spots and just not fucking getting the mullet I need. You know, I was just using, just loading up on finger mullet, like fucking 20, 30 finger mullets, man. And I was thinking, man, those baits are too small. Man, it's like feeding, feeding a peanut to an elephant, dude. So this is a nice 50 pounds, at least 50 pounds. And he took it. I almost gave up, because I'm fucking tired, you know. I was like, man, is this gonna be worth it today? Fucking five hours sleep, 4 a.m. And then, when I jumped in my boat this morning, I ripped my pants. <laughs> like, Jesus! What else is gonna go wrong today, man? But, you know, I'm an experienced angler, man. I know even when everything, when every fucking odd is against you, dude, that you still can hook up on a nice fish. Oh, did he come out? No, he turned around. You can still hook up on a nice fish. There he goes again. Yeah, all that line I just got back, he's taken. Hopefully I don't have to try chasing him like the last one. So he is a nice fish. Nice 50 pound. We'll see once he gets up over here. If I can get him up over here. I mean, we're going... It's got to be past 20, 30 minutes. I haven't looked at the clock or anything. I didn't even know what to, oh, he just did another little jump. That's why you need that mono top shot, man. It will absorb that shit. All right, I'm tuning out again. Oh yeah, just fly right into my lines, you stupid ass pelicans. Yeah, if I'm not dealing with park rangers that don't know how to fix a gate, <laughs> and line wetters on the beach. I'm dealing with these crazy ass fucking pelicans everywhere. Oh man. This is 
one tricky tarpon, tricky, tricky tarpon. Well, I'm way past the 45 minute mark. Maybe this damn fish is bigger than I thought. I don't know. He's still going. He's not giving up. I still haven't got mono back on the line. I got a lot of braid back. So the, the monofilament can't be far. I think he's got one more run in him, and once he has that run and jumps out of the water, he'll, uh, that'll be it for him. He'll be done. I feel him tugging pretty hard here. Maybe he'll start running now. <laughs> I've been chasing the tarpon. <sighs> to get the mono and the, our boat are not back on the reel. And, uh, he's about to take it again. <laughs> just wow. Tarpon are just such an amazing fish, man. No, they, he done took all the mono I just put on there. Uh, yeah, there goes the Alberto knot back into the water. He's just not ready yet, man. I'm ready, but he's not running. He's just like on cruise control. There. Hold on, hold on. I mean, I think you got one more good run and jump out of him. And if I'm able to keep that hook in, I'm pretty sure that'd be it for him. This thing's going into an hour. Serious. Dude, I don't know what happened. He was so close, he's like right there. And I don't know what happened, dude. What the fuck happened? And I think he just got off. Shit. He was, dude, he was so close. I was pulling him in, turning him around. So close, more than an hour. And he got out. I don't know if a shark got him or... See, there he is right there. Let's go over there and look at him. I mean, he is out, dude. He is fucking totally disoriented. Like, I had his ass. Man, I hope that fucking snell knot didn't fucking fail on me. Shit. See, there he is right there. Yeah, he is out, dude. He's trying to get air right now. Unbelievable, I can't believe it. More than an hour, he dragged me for miles, dude, miles. Where the fuck are you? I don't know if a shark got him or what. Because he's been like acting crazy for the last past 10 minutes. I mean, just getting on the surface of water and kicking and screaming. I wonder if a shark got him. I gotta put this line on here better. It's bird nesting on me. I don't know what happened to him. I wonder if he got eaten. <laughs> I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see right now, see what happened. Unbelievable. Dude, so close. Okay, so my snail didn't fail. If it failed, it'd be all curled up. Um, this was a straight up snap. It just snapped. And I don't know if that's because of the tarpon or if there's like a shark after his ass. Because there was one time, like way at the shore or whatever, he was acting all crazy and shit. And I thought I lost him then. And I reeled it in and he was fine. And he was almost like dead weight. And I thought a shark got him for sure at that time. Because he was pulling in dead weight. But then he kind of revived. And then he dragged me all the way to fuck out here. And uh, then it started happening again. He started acting all crazy again, just like going on top of the water and just like sp splashing all over the place. I don't know if it was him, if his body just, when he turned over and just like landed on the line when it was tight. I don't know. That's, that's kind of like what I'm thinking. I don't know why he was behaving that way. I don't know if it was a shark or he's just like completely disoriented and just going nuts. I don't know. But this was a straight up line snap. This is 50 pound test. So that snell knot works. I guess I'll use that from now on. I was using the, um, the seven knot wires. 
Dude, I just can't believe that. <laughs> no other fish gives me trouble like this, man. <laughs> this was more than an hour fighting that thing. More than an hour. I don't know, I'm just trying to remember like what happened. I remember that the line would often go slack. It was just all of a sudden, no line, no line, or no tension on the line. And then I reel and there'll be tension and then be no tension again. I was like, holy shit. So I think that when he was flopping around like that, for whatever reason, why he was behaving that way, that his body just kept hitting this line and just pulling it and pulling it and creating that slack. And then I would reel it in and then it just, it just failed. Damn, I can't fucking believe it, dude. I can't fucking believe it. Well, I'm gonna check the time. It's fucking 12.30. Dude, I mean. Oh, I mean, I was fighting that thing for an hour and a half, man. An hour and a half. 12.30. Holy shit. Dude, my ass just fell asleep, man. I've been fishing for so long, I don't even feel my ass anymore. Look at all those baits, man. I could have swore I've seen a tarp run too bust some of those baits over there. Some of those pelicans sure as hell are capitalizing on the pod. I'm gonna try to get to them. Dude, I'm freaking exhausted. It's like 2.30, 2.30. Up at 4 a.m. And Saturday is always harder because you, I guess because you just put in a full work week and uh, it's hard for me to go to bed, you know, when you get home at five or whatever. But uh, Sundays are usually easier because, you know, I'll probably go home now, shower up, eat. I'll probably take a three hour nap, wake up, you know, mess around some more and then take another three, four hours. So I'll get some more rest. Ugh, man. So the game plan for tomorrow is, if I hook up with another tarpon, is that uh, I'm gonna fight them different. Like, it's gonna be a different kind of battle. Uh, with this one, you know, I, I was keeping the drag kind of light, and uh, I was just basically letting him pull my boat. Next time, I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive. Okay, I'm gonna start out with light drag for the first 10 minutes, you know, after he's done doing his jumping or whatever. And then I'm gonna crank it up. I'm gonna turn the heat on them. Turn the heat up on them. And I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull every which way. Left, right, left, right. You know, basically until he gives up. That's that's my game plan. I'm gonna fight him a little bit harder next time. Because I don't think this fish should have taken me, you know, an hour and a half to wear out. Like he was worn out, dude. He was just like minutes away from being on the side of my boat. He was freaking done. You know, he was flopping around for whatever reason, and he whacked that line one too many times with his tail, and he just broke it. But he was basically beat. He was beat, just like I'm beat now. <laughs> so next time, I'm gonna bring the pain on the tarpon. I'm gonna really bring it to him. I'm not going to fight him exactly like I would a shark with, you know, really extremely heavy tackle, but it's going to be similar. It's going to be a little bit similar. What's going on, guys? Day two of tarpon fishing. Uh, I dropped $67 to get inside this fucking park. It's a night pass. $67. Let's see if it works. Oh. 
Thank fucking God, man. Thank fucking God. All right, guys, back at it again. Loaded up with bait. I think I got about eight mullets in there, and they're nice size. They're like, bam. <laughs> Damn, the kind of mullets I need, man. Got no damn finger mullet. I think I got lucky with that finger mullet yesterday is because they were in a feeding frenzy. I was in a school of tarpon and you know they were just like busting on anything across their path. Come on, baby. Come on, ass thing. Oh yeah, you're good. You're ready to be a good bait. A shark it's not a tarpon but it's a good size shark so I'll take them it's getting kind of late in the day for tarpon man you probably ripped the line let's see Good size shark. I guess I got him. <laughs> you know he's hooked. That was a damn good shark. He's at least six foot. I'll take a good size shark, man. And these little bitches, you know, the oh, he knows he's hooked now. These little bitches, you know, are annoying, but if it's a good size one, I don't mind that. There we go. He's like, what? Break. No, he's still hooked. Still hooked. Must be a good hook set. I wonder what kind of shark it is. I think it might actually be a hammerhead. But I believe this is a hammerhead, to be honest, because. The dorsal fin is like fucking two feet long. I'll take a hammerhead, man, if I can. I mean, I'm only running 50 pound test monofilament, so it's just kind of like. that line to break if it's a hammerhead. Mm. Uh, got some line back. He's still on. I swear to God, I want to start putting fucking 80 pound test mono leader. I really don't want to lose a hammerhead, dude. A hammerhead, not as good as tarpon, but still, it's a hammerhead. <laughs> Come on, baby. Can't do. You can't horse crank a fish like this. Like if this is a hammerhead, he was pretty big. Um. I mean, he's probably like, you know, 200 fucking pounds, so. <laughs> so, you can't horse crank a fish like that to you. There we go. Got some line back. I turned him around. I was thumbing it. I was thumbing the spool. 
thumb in it. For y'all don't know what that means, just putting your thumb there, add that little extra drag. I'm doing that right now too. All right, I'm gonna tune out for now. Got out. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a hammerhead because only hammerhead sharks have dorsal fins that are longer than that fucking thing. I mean, that thing was just like a tower <laughs> coming out of the water. And exactly what I was afraid of, that the line just broke. Man. That's too bad, dude. That is just so bad. I mean, I purposely run it kind of low so that when I do catch sharks, they break off. But I didn't want to lose a damn hammerhead, man. I didn't want to lose a hammerhead. So that, I fought him for like 15 minutes. I was at, almost at the shore. So that's kind of like how far he, he drugged me. It's not too bad. Because I was kind of at that blue house. So he kind of just drugged me out here a little bit. Oh, that's too bad, man. That would have made my day if I caught that hammerhead. That would have made my day. Man, this year, I ain't gonna catch nothing this year, man. This was the year of drums. You know, I caught that big ass uh, redfish and those multiple um, black drums. Catching all those guys. Man, I'm just not having any luck with the tarpon or the hammerheads. Fucking sucks.